campus uh, and or pass through to uh, come up and speak. If, I think we do. Those are live. Yes. Yes, they are. Okay. Um, for, for all of you in the room and or watching at home, if you're a frequent flyer of watching our board meetings, these two gentlemen should look very familiar because one week ago they did a presentation for all of us on uh, San Mar Park, uh, updated the uh, uh, project, but also uh, presented where we're looking to go forward on the Star Restaurant building. Um, Jared Miller from Campus uh, Construction Management and David Cox from Castro. So we had a pretty robust presentation, Q&A discussion last week. And this week we have two uh, resolutions uh, in front of us that would officially start the process um, of engineering, architecture, uh, architecture, um, 2,300 square foot uh, base building um, down in San Bernard Park that we feel is going to be for the purpose of our restaurant. Um, now, after last week, Jared, um, you had sent over a term sheet, uh, I'll call it, or a proposal, um, which really was, I call it soup to nuts, from pre-construction through to managing the construction through to closing out the, uh, the project, the building being built and going and having your first dinner there, drink. And uh, I'm not sure I got that. That was uh, estimated at 136,000. Yeah, that was. Okay. Um, and then <clears throat> that's resolution five. And I'm going to pair these both together because I think it would make this more of an efficient conversation with the board members and you two gentlemen. Um, Dave Cox from Castro uh, sent over to the board earlier this week after last Thursday's uh, presentation, um, pretty much two uh, term sheets, proposals, one for the engineering design and one for the architectural work that would be done in such a building. I'll be there, I don't have it in front of me, thank you. Um, the engineering uh, was estimated to be 28,460. And the architectural work was estimated at 118,500. So between the one thing I know about campuses, and I just and I'm hand it off to you, gentlemen, to answer any questions or discuss with the board. Um, we do these resolutions tonight. Um, I think Kyle, you even said as the town attorney, um, we really don't have the contract terms for ready to sign a contract. This would be more the board doing a resolution that we, we know what the, the estimates are, we know the terms, whether that's time and materials and whatever, um, and ultimately our attorneys and peers will work out the final contract. A lot of times, Dolly, when we do a resolution in the middle of March, by the time I sign a contract as a supervisor, it's not unusual that it's two to four weeks later as the attorneys do their contract. Is that be a bankruptcy? Okay. I don't know if I can do any more preface on this, uh, but I'm, I'm just want to make sure that when you're talking about an aggregate of two hundred eighty-seven thousand dollars, I think what is these are called soft costs in a municipal project. Um, that has nothing to do with the costs of when we get bids in for actually building. Um, I just want to make sure the board is aware of what they'd be voting on tonight. If Paul Adams can chime in about what this means as far as where the money comes from, if it sets up as a new capital project, if Dave and or Jared can answer, you know, why those numbers are what they are and are they fait account please uh, in a contract or more, you know, here's actually with monthly billing and, and this and that, it could be less. Um, and certainly if it goes over, the board would, have, would know that well in advance to amend that head. Does the board have any questions <coughs> for Dave Cox and or Jerry Miller? 
well, you don't have the verbiage in the contract to understand that. As far as the, the cost goes, well, we have a contract that the price would be not to exceed the specific amount. Are you asking me? Yes. That, that is definitely what I will, when I, whoever makes this resolution, if we vote on this, because I can't, because I am signing the contract, the verbiage has to be in there not to exceed. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Both of our costs, I don't know what to be for you guys, but I believe both of our costs, at least ours definitely, is for the full scope of the project to deliver and close out the project all the way through. Um, that cost won't go beyond that. Okay. Within those, you know, within the given timeline. <clears throat> and I will say this, it's going back a year or so ago, we did, we did something like this on Sandbar Park, um, and Canvas was the construction manager. Now, they did not start as the free construction, so you kind of came in like in the fourth inning of that nine inning baseball game. Here, we're getting you in before the first day, which will hopefully create a more efficient process. Yeah, it allows us to help the town with budgeting for the project and establishing that, that bonding amount prior to, to uh, moving forward with, you know, how far we get into design. So it, our goal is to help with the, the planning aspect of that project so that the town is in a good spot and be helped with the design phase of it and make sure you know the decisions being made as far as design are, are cost effective and efficient for everything the town's trying to achieve. So um, along that process we're doing estimating right along to make sure we're staying within whatever the given budget is. Yeah and I, I will say that like I said 35 minutes last week on this, so they're, you know, go back and look at the tape or anything about you. There's a lot of discussion on this. It's pretty robust. Um, Chris Bilo is in the room tonight. He's our Parks and Rec Commissioner. Um, we referenced you, Chris. Your ears were probably ringing last week. I watched. Week. I watched. And, uh, you did, so you saw. Um, Chris and I have had a lot of, uh, <coughs> a lot, half a dozen meetings with the Prospective restaurants who are bar owner over the last year. Um, tentatively, if these resolutions are done tonight, it gives the ability for Passero Associates and Campus to actually, as soon as tomorrow morning, sit down with that restaurant to our bar owners, engineers, and architects and really start working. They can't do that for us before we sure. engage. Sure. Um, and as I said last week, I think this is a community that is very anxious to see the restaurant bar down at Sandbar move along. Um, I don't know how else to explain that. <clears throat> Paul, any comments on where the money gets slotted at this point before a bond resolution is done? Because we wouldn't even know what to do with bond resolution for because the building is not <coughs> Uh, yeah, there are actually uh, two grants. There are Dasty grants, which are currently being repurposed by New York State, which I think will be able to apply toward this project. Uh, the balance will be financed with a CIRA bond, bond anticipation note short term, and then eventually a CIRA bond. It's a uh, public-private partnership, because you've got a private entity uh, involved, which makes the bond taxable. Uh, we're estimating the the interest rate on that will be 4.6 percent, and it'll be a 15-year bond. So, so we'll borrow whatever we need to cover the net cost after the grants, after paying the consultants and the uh, contractors. Jenny, do you have any questions or? Is that correct? Then? Actually, campuses is 136. Yep. The engineering for Pasture is 28,460, and the architecture in Pasture is 118,500 for a total of 286,960. And as long as we're on that, right? I said these are the next two resolutions. Uh, we would actually do this as 
three resolutions. One for campus, um, for the pre-construction and, and throughout the process service there, whatever you call it, the whole kit and code. I think past rows has got to be broken into two independent resolutions. There are two independent engagements, one for the engineering design, one for the architect. Is that how you see it, Dave? Yeah, that's, that works. Okay. Put a little bit more pressure on whichever board member if we move to making motions on this. You got to add the not to exceed. Yeah. We can give you the dollar amounts on each. I'll do the, the, the on number five. I would move, make a motion to retain campus construction management to do a pre construction bid development in the restaurant building at Sand Park Park <clears throat> and have the supervisor sign a contract. The fee is not to exceed $136,000. Second. Councilman Cahill? Aye. Councilman Lynn? Aye. Councilwoman Wright? Aye. Supervisor Flaherty? Aye. Mm -hmm. Engineering design, you just said, is actually 28470. Yep. It was off by $10. Okay. So I'll, I'll make a motion to retain Passero Associates to do the engineering design of the restaurant building at San Fire Park and have the supervisor sign a contract not to exceed $28,460. So. Councilwoman Wright? Aye. Councilwoman Lynn? Aye. Councilman Cahill? Aye. Supervisor Clary? Aye. So the third is? I'll make the motion yeah. to retain Passero Associates to do the end part, or to do the uh, architectural design services for the restaurant building at Sandbar Park and have the supervisor sign the contract not to exceed $118,500. Second. Councilwoman Wright? Aye. Councilman Cato? Aye. Councilwoman Wynn? Aye. Supervisor Aye. Aye. So do you have a meeting with the restaurants who are in their architect at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, gentlemen? We're going to get to work. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.